Hello and welcome to this week's Wellness Wednesday video. I am Paya Fitzgerald, your wellness tactician. And I'm here on behalf of Wild Factor in partnership with Columbus City Schools Staff Wellness Initiative. Today, we are going to talk about recalibration. So as we think about the five R's for leveraging the power of thought, it is important to understand the value of intentional recalibration. And as it is my custom, because I'm an aspiring comedian, I know you're like, lady, please, but here we go, and I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Here's my little chuckle for today. Which letter of the alphabet is the most curious? Why? You see what I did there? Ah, oh, all right, folks, recalibration. Let's recalibrate back to this lesson. And our SEL competency today is you guessed it, responsible decision-making because it takes a decision to recalibrate. All right, so recalibration is pretty simple. Let me explain it with um, an illustration from my car. I love my car, she's very kind to me. So kind, she keeps me safe. So let me tell you what she does. When I'm getting off course, drifting to the side of the road, what have you, she recalibrates me with this obnoxious loud sound and, and depending on the setting, pushes me back to the middle of the road. Now, I may not really like the sound, but I value and appreciate the prompting to recalibrate so I can stay focused, heading in the direction that I wanna go. So think about it like that. Think of the value of recalibration as a tool to help you refocus to go in the direction you wanna go. Another thing that I found value in is every day in the morning, I, call, I have this recalibration time, if you will, where I sit, drink some tea, and I set my intention for the day. Setting that intention for the day is a way of me recalibrating from yesterday because it's a new day, new way to focus, and uh, that way I can get to where I need to be. So when we're talking about work and work stressors, if you take time to be intentional about recalibrating yourself for the day, you'll be surprised about how many things do not bother you. You'll be surprised about how productive you will be because you've taken the time to recalibrate, set your intentions, and then move forward. So here's some practical things that you can do for the week to help you recalibrate. Think about your nutrition. And I'm not saying diet and all that, I'm just saying making sure you're putting in healthy things that will give you the energy, the mental energy to recalibrate. Think about your environment. Make sure it's such that it's not distracting for you, that you have things that make your heart leap. You know, things that'll just bring joy. Those kinds of things in your space will help you recalibrate. Just practical things that you can do to help you get back in line, focus to where you wanna go. All right, so with that, I wanna say thank you and stay tuned for next week's Wellness Wednesday video. Bye-bye.